you've clearly done your research. Now that I think about yeah. it, I've never seen Dan in a t-shirt either. The t-shirt, a beacon of comfort and leisure, a status symbol, a notation of strength. What if I told you that a man exists that has exhausted himself beyond the need for a t-shirt? That there is a man so powerful, so comfortable, he has never once been documented wearing a t-shirt. What would you think of this man? Would you characterize him as the ultimate vision of relaxation that brings tranquility and contentment to any garment he places on his being? Or would you categorize him as tightly wound? Whatever your opinion is, I will tell you that this enigma exists. And his name is Dan Over the next few weeks, we will be exploring this man. Exploring his mind, exploring his vision, but most importantly, we will be exploring his closet. I am Philip White, we are Large Seafaring Mammal, and this is Teed Off. Dan Larimer is a man of humble beginnings. Born in Colorado and raised in Virginia by his father, Stan Larimer, Dan developed an interest in computer programming at a very young age. It was during this developmental period that Dan tragically lost his ability to sense comfort. Dan was very much uh, the pocket protector, collar polo style dude from the 90s. Fashion sense and comfortable clothes aren't important when you're growing up to save the world from an oppressive and violent codependent banking system. Um, EOS isn't currency. Yeah, well, well how about you shut the f up? After graduating from Virginia Tech with a Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science, Dan set forth on his first venture, a virtual reality startup that never picked up steam. Some say that the technology at the time was not ready for this vision. Others say his lack of comfort and abundance of collars and buttons set the tone for an unsuccessful work environment that was doomed to fail. Somehow, though, through all this lack of t-shirt faith, through all this collar and button loyalty, Dan ascended from being a struggling divorcee living in his parents' home to being worth between $600 and $700 million in cryptocurrency. Which leads to this question, how? How through all of his trials and tribulations can a man remain so cool under pressure while having so much fabric hugging onto his neck? How can a man with so much sleeve persevere for so long? Divine intervention? Feeding off the life force of those weaker than himself? On Teed Off, we will delve into Dan, his secret half-sleeve tattoos, his ties to the New World Order, and the underground organization that some people like to cryptically call Clan Larimer. Philip, somebody found it. How? It's been like seven hours and we've been looking and writing this thing for like a week. I don't know, man. When you offer all of Reddit and Twitter a t-shirt to find another dude in a t-shirt, they're probably going to do it. So congrats to EOS Insider for figuring it out. Your t-shirt's already in the mail. Now, I guess go be a pal and tell Reddit when you get it or whatever. I don't even care anymore. I promised weeks of content. You're a comedian. Just pivot. Do something. <clears throat> What if I told you that Dan Larimer's philosophy on the support system goes deeper than the EOS Constitution? What if I told you that Dan Larimer wears bras? I am Philip White, and this is Tea Cups. Dude, no one's gonna believe that shit. Lay off Dan, do a t-shirt bit, and let's get out of here. Don't tell me how to live! Whoa, sorry, whoa, sorry. come on, I'm man. I'm just really upset about my wasted clan Larimer story. It's alright, dude. Um, let's just... Okay, I'm ready to take this seriously. Yeah, sorry, Dan. That was, that was uncalled for. Mark Zuckerberg, LeBron James, Tom from MySpace. Three visionaries, three icons, three major successes in their respective fields. One thing in common. They all have accepted the t-shirt as the life force that drives them to flourish. 
In 2003, Tom Anderson pioneered the social media phenomenon that has taken a grasp of the country today. The iconic photo of him wearing a white t-shirt in front of a whiteboard of gibberish has been memed and created into a terrible Halloween costume by lazy brunette white dudes for years. But there is no mistaking the power that that over-the-shoulder stance combined with that easy-going choice of apparel conveyed to the average person. And there is definitely no debating the amount of sex appeal his iconic selfie in a dirty bathroom mirror radiated. This was a successful man. A man that warrants your attention. Tom from MySpace co-founded MySpace in 2003 and sold it in 2005 for $580 million. He was winning life. His baby was flourishing. That is, until he decided to wear a shirt with a collar. Rumor has it, Tom from MySpace was attending a networking event and ran into what would be the man that would all but erase his legacy, Mark Zuckerberg. At this point, Facebook was a mildly successful bit of stolen code, but Zuck was out for blood, and Tom from MySpace was willing to oblige. Zuck asked Tom how he would make Facebook more successful, and Tom replied, let people add more pictures. And wear a t-shirt every day for the rest of your life. And that was that. Facebook ran away and became all that MySpace aspired to be. Zuck became the fifth richest person in the world, and Tom from MySpace is all but forgotten. And Mark Zuckerberg kept his vow and his power until one day he decided to break the blood pact he made with t-shirts. This is Mark Zuckerberg in a t-shirt. Strong, assertive, radiant. This is Mark Zuckerberg not in a t-shirt. Weak, feeble, sitting in a booster seat. I mean, look at this guy. Pathetic. Looks like he's waiting for the waitress to bring him a pack of crayons so he can solve that Applebee's word search. This is not a powerful man. This is not a strong man. He has since realized the error in his ways and repented for his sins. LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players of our generation. After a more or less underachieving and uninspired first half of his career, featuring final sweeps, super teams, and massive disappointment at the hands of a Mark Cuban-owned Dallas Mavericks. The King put on a legacy-defining performance in the summer of 2016. Facing elimination in the NBA Finals against the greatest regular season basketball team of all time, LeBron and the Cavs donned t-shirts as a big f*** you to the tank top dominated National Basketball Authority and came back from down 3-1 to win the 2016 NBA championship. The next year, Nike got rid of the t-shirt jersey type and the Cleveland Cavaliers, the champions from the city that didn't deserve champions, returned to being the dumpster fire of the two good team association. This is not a coincidence of t-shirt prowess. This is documented confirmation that t-shirts just make you better at things. Need more evidence? Here is Major League Baseball pitcher and real-life giant Randy Johnson winning the World Series wearing a t-shirt, albeit a t-shirt covered with an ugly jersey sweater vest hybrid. Here is Randy Johnson murdering a bird while wearing a button jersey. There is no debate. T-shirts make you better. They made Tom from MySpace. They made Mark Zuckerberg. They made LeBron. And now, with this newly discovered information from the schmucks at EOS Insider, we now know, without a doubt, that Dan Larimer is a man of the t-shirt. We are a large seafaring mammal. Wear t-shirts. Thank <laughs> you.